Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for knee pain. All right, so I'm going to talk about how common knee pain is, some of the causes, traditional treatments, stem cell therapy for knee pain, as well as some research studies, and we'll talk about the R3 program in Mexico. How common is knee pain? Well, it's very common. Several countries, including the U.S., have reported chronic knee pain in the 20 to 25 percent range of people over the age of 45. The incidence of knee pain overall has doubled over the past 75 years. A lot of that is due to people living older, wanting to be more active. And knee pain treatment represents half of R3 centers treatments in the United States since we started. So it's over 7,000 uh, knee pain treatments. What are the causes? Well, there are a litany that, of things that can lead to it. Arthritis is very, very common, uh, whether it's rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis, which is good old wear and tear, could be post-traumatic or just, you know, natural progression. Also, gout can lead to significant arthritis, psoriasis, and lupus as well. Bursitis or tendonitis, uh, such as patellar tendonitis, you know, runner's knee, iliotibial band syndrome, um, other uh, bursitis issues. Trauma could be a fracture, a loose body, a tear in a cartilage like a meniscus, a ligament tear um, or a sprain, uh, and dislocation, whether it's a traumatic dislocation or a tracking problem. And then don't forget painful joint replacement. We're going to discuss joint replacements here in just a moment. Traditional treatments. You notice the picture of a Band-Aid here, and that's because all these treatments are proverbial Band-Aids. None of them actually change the course of the pain or arthritis or help with healing, okay? Rice, rest, ice, compression, elevation um, is tried and, and true for helping. Medications such as anti-inflammatories, Tylenol, potentially narcotics are being prescribed. Bracing, which could be just a wrap, a patella wrap, or a functional brace. Uh, various, in various injections can be tried, maybe including uh, steroids, since it's been around for the last 60 years, or possibly hyaluronic acid injections, such as Synvisc. Various creams can be used, like capsaicin, uh, which is basically pepper cream, or lidocaine types of, of um, compound creams, and some patches, and then maybe a cane. How successful are knee replacements? Well, knee replacements are supposed to be a last resort when everything else has failed, all right? At this point, just in the U.S., close to 800,000 knee replacements are done every year, which has gone up tremendously over the last decade. Now, doctors typically quote an 85 to 90% success rate. And one of the quotes I saw from a recent meeting was, Artificial joints are so successful and they provide such good improvements in quality of life for people with arthritis that they are getting more and more accepted and more people are aware of them. Well, how successful are new replacements actually? Okay, you know, we've heard the 85 to 90 percent success rate for years and years. Well, Kaiser News recently said doctors are increasingly concerned that the procedure is overused and that its benefits have been oversold. And they went on to talk about how competitive this industry is in the United States and that plenty of doctors are just doing too many of them and people who most likely don't need them. Uh, that article also said research suggests that up to one-third of those who have knees replaced continue to experience chronic pain. That's one out of three. And roughly 20 percent of patients they say they are dissatisfied with the results of the surgery. Okay, so we are close to 90% are satisfied when in actuality anywhere from 20% upwards of a third are unhappy. And the study this came from showed that those results were only after one year. All right. And keep in mind, over half of those who undergo the surgery are under the age of 65. That was shocking to me when I saw that statistic. What that means is those folks have a long time to live and use their joint and if there's a problem, that's going to live with them. So here's a study out of the 2017 British Medical Journal. They looked at thousands 
of knee replacements in a study done in the U.S., and they found that it had minimal effect on quality of life, that, that joint replacement. The complication rate in that study was about 10%. Anything from anesthesia issue to blood clot, infection, stiffness, RSD, a continued implant issue, or maybe just pain that never went away. Here you can see what can happen over time with the plastic in a knee replacement. It can just get eaten up. In general, one in every 100 to 200 patients who undergo a knee replacement die within three months of the surgery. All right, on that note, let's delve into stem cell therapy for knee pain. In the U.S. and a lot of other Western countries, it started to get really popular five years ago. Um, it was first introduced in the United States about 10 to 15 years ago, for the most part. A lot of uh, sports figures were uh, publicized as having g gotten the procedure, either here in the U.S. or elsewhere. Initially, it was driven by anecdotal data. What that means is that there was data that came out, but it wasn't a really well-controlled uh, studies. Procedures for stem cell therapy include the following. It could be autologous, where it's your own bone marrow or fat that's used, or allogeneic, which is a donated source, either umbilical, amniotic, often called postnatal tissue. All these options, whether it's autologous or allogeneic, are extremely popular now. So one thing that should be noted is that um, embryonic stem cell therapy and induced pluripotent stem cell therapy are not ready for prime time by a long shot. All right, there's lots of basic science research being done on those technologies, but if anybody were to suggest you have one of those performed for your knee or any other area of your body, just say no thank you and run away. What we use at R3 International and domestically in the U.S. and what everybody else is using, for the most part, are stem cell therapy with mesenchymal stem cells, MSCs, and hematopoietic stem cells. That's the way to go. Those are multipotent. They still have the capability to turn into a lot of different types of stem cells and work with your body in the repair and the regeneration process. That tissue, if it's donated, comes from a consenting donor after a scheduled c-section there is no harm to the baby or the mother there's no um, aborted fetuses like with embryonic stem cells so let's just go through a few studies there's hundreds of them out there um, now the one on the left minimally minimally manipulated mesenchymal stem cells for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis i picked this one because they did a systematic review they looked at a lot of studies and and this was with autologous, bone marrow and, and SVF, which is fat. They've been shown to be safe and to have some short-term beneficial effect on the treatment of knee cartilage degeneration. I don't know what their definition of short-term is, but if you look at the studies that they looked at, it was anywhere from 12 to 24 months, so one to two years. So that was very good outcomes, and that was recent. The one on the right, clinical efficacy and safety of stem cell therapy for knee osteoarthritis. This one looked at nine studies that included 339 patients and the pain scales and the functional scores up to two years were improved compared to those in the control group. So the stem cell therapy group did fantastic, much better than the control, and they concluded that stem cell therapy was certainly superior to traditional treatments and the conservative treatment of arthritis, considerably reduced pain with no obvious additional side effects. Two more quick studies. The one on the left was uh, from 2020. Implantation of allogeneic umbilical cord derived mesenchymal stem cells improves knee osteoarthritis. This was 128 patients followed up for a minimum of two years. Um, they found fantastic results for the human umbilical cord blood uh, patients. And like I said, up to two years. I mean, the average stem cell, I'm not stem cell, the average steroid injection lasts for only about two weeks. So, and there's, and it actually can harm cartilage. These actually help the joint dramatically and pain relief lasts for a long time. The one on the right, it looked at amniotic and umbilical cord for knee osteoarthritis. And this was 20 patients over the age of 18. Um, and pain reduction had, pain reduction and significant improvement were noted at all time points. That was only up to six months. All right, so the R3 International Program, what we've done is taken the best 
of stem cell therapy and put it into our program now for the last couple of years um, for a first rate experience. We have expert doctors who have done hundreds and hundreds of procedures safely and with the best biologics. Dedicated patient concierge reps who will work with you throughout the process. Very safe biologics with very high cell counts. We put our clinics in convenient locations. The one in Tijuana is only 20 minutes from the San Diego airport. And it really is the most cost-effective program in the world. Not just in Mexico, but in the world. And for knees, the option is for 30 million stem cells or 50 million viable stem cells. I'll delve into that in just a second. So in, with the biologics in Mexico, culturing is allowed, which is not allowed in the United States, and nothing's allowed in Canada. There's no stem cell therapy at all. The lab we get the cells from is called GenCell. It's accredited. It's pristine safety record, never had a significant adverse event. The quality assurance at the lab is actually more involved than the FDA. Uh, we have actually a video on the website, stemcelltreatmentclinic.com, showing the certification that comes with every unit that that's, uh, we receive. The cell culturing is kept to the fifth generation or less, which means that the cells are still very active, very potent. The more and more you culture them, if you get to the eighth, 10th, 12th generation, they don't work anymore. So when you go to other clinics that might be in Panama or Antigua or whatever, you have to be very, very careful. They say, oh, we're gonna give you 100 million stem cells. Well, you know, if two thirds of those are 12th to 15th generation, they're not gonna do anything for you. Um, our lab does not use any preservative, which is fantastic, so you get over 95% viable cells. And there's either a 30 or 50 million cell option for knee treatment. Um, for travel, it's only 20 minutes from the San Diego airport. I can confidently say that because I've done it myself plenty of times, and it really is right at the 20-minute marker. We do provide transportation from San Diego, whether it's a hotel or the airport, uh, to the clinic and back. You will have a patient concierge representative with you uh, to the visit and treatment as well. And our um, staff can help with travel logistics, with air, uh, setting up the airline and all that. Um, that is the patient responsibility, but we do cover the, the ground transportation from the airport or San Diego. Now, pricing. This is an investment. It is a really, really cost-effective investment. So for instance, 30 million stem cells is only $2,950. What does that mean? Well, if you have a stem cell treatment in the US, you might get 10 million cells, or probably more like five. And the investment there is gonna be anywhere from three to 5,000. So when you get three times that many cells, and that's enough for two knees, that's amazing, okay? You can't put all that into one knee, but it really is enough for two knees. Now, for 50 million cells, that is only an extra $1,000 at $3,950. You can have four joints. So we call it four for under four. Four joints can be injected for under $4,000. 50 million viable stem cells, okay? So that means 12.5 million per joint, or you could just have 25 million into each knee. Okay, that's fine as well. Now, if two people come down together, we take $500 off the treatment. All right, so here's a video a representation. So it all starts with an MD phone consultation, and then afterwards, you know, who will look at your medical records and whatnot. Um, the cost overall is 80% less than the U.S. We do provide assistance with travel and an escort to the center from San Diego. Stem cell treatment is either with 30 or 50 million cells, as I mentioned. Patients are able to avoid surgery. We've had no adverse events in all the time we've been doing these. And then you'll have follow-up via phone or email with your patient concierge representative. Okay, let's go through that one more time. You'll have a free phone consultation with our expert stem cell doctors who will look at your medical records, talk to you, and then offer the specific treatment protocol. You'll have travel assistance, as I mentioned. Uh, you'll have an escort to the center from San Diego. Stem cell treatment will either be 30 or 50 million cells. You could have two knees. You could have four joints for the 50 million. Um, patients avoid surgery left and right. It's amazing. Very safe. Never had an adverse event. And significant follow-up occurs 
as well. All right, getting the process started. Um, on the left here, you can see Dr. De La Puerta. He is our international medical director and chief scientific officer. He's been practicing stem cell therapy for over six years. He's done hundreds and hundreds of cases. Not only is he personable and extremely knowledgeable, he's really good at the procedures. He uses um, image guidance, ultrasound, to make sure that the needle is exactly where he wants it. So if you want to call us, we'd love to hear from you at 888-988-0515. All right. Visit us at stemcelltreatmentclinic.com. Okay. You can do a live chat. You can uh, uh, do a, a contact form or just email us directly, info at r3stemcell.com. All right, it's your best option for stem cell treatment for knees and everything else in Mexico. We offer treatment for Lyme disease, COPD, kidney failure, uh, COVID, um, as well as all kinds of post-stroke, um, post-concussion syndrome. You'll see a list of what we offer on the website. It's been very, very impressive to see these results. Thank you.